Hello, welcome to one more interesting video from Indus Technologies in which we are going to discuss the flowchart for digital clock. We are going to make a digital clock with the help of a flowchart. I have already drawn this flowchart and I will discuss this flowchart with the help of a memory map to you. So I have started and then I have used variables H, M and S. So I will write a memory map for this H. Another variable I have used is M and another variable I have used is S. H for hours, M for minutes and S for seconds. This flowchart will generate a time accordingly and it will be never ending process. It will always remain live. It will never end. This flowchart will never end. This program will never end. At the end of this flowchart, I have also written the code for this flowchart in C programming in which you will be able to see the output of the same program. So H and uh, H for hours and M for minutes and S for seconds. I have written these three variables and I have initialized these to 0, 0 and 0. So I will initialize these to 0, 0 and 0. But I am here, I am asking the user to enter the current. What is your current date time? So in clock, you have seen that in clock, when you uh, when you activate your clock, when you buy it from market or when you insert a battery in your clock, that you are going to start a, you are going to set up a time for this so we are going to give a starting time for this i will consider this time i will consider this time i i have to i have to input a new time in this because we are going to reset this clock so i will consider hours as 10 and minutes as minutes i will uh, write here 59 and seconds i will write here 55 okay this will be my current time which i am going to insert in i will uh, note down one thing here that this clock will be in 24 hours format so this is 10 that means it is am as it is 24 hours format so here i will write hours as 10 because user has resetted it and minutes as 59 and seconds as 55 these are the values entered by user what is the value for hour minute and second that is entered by user here is the condition that if hours is less than 24 is this hours less than 24 yes the condition is true so we have to move along with yes so again i have to check if minutes is less than 60 it is also less than 60 it is 59 and yes if seconds is less than 60 this is also less than 60 seconds is also less than 60 so yes print hours minutes and seconds so i have to print i have to display it somewhere in my on my screen so i will write here 10 59 and 55 so i will write it in this format 10 is to 59 is to 55 then i will initialize another variable j as 0 so i will write here j and I will initialize it to zero. This variable I am using uh, to delay it for some time because my program execution when I am executing this yes statement. So whole process will get executed, but it will execute in only milliseconds. It will not take even milliseconds. It will execute in very, very less time. So I have to execute it. I have to take a second. I have to take a time of one second and that is equal to three six one nine nine and this is six times nine in programming language you can take it this way and in flowchart it is not ne necessary to take it in the flowchart but i have shown in flowchart because i want that you should not face any problem when you develop any program of this flowchart so i have taken this much of time so that it will get delayed and this is this is unnecessary loop that i am uh, using here this will do nothing but it will actually make this busy at this time for this much of milliseconds okay so here j when initialized to zero this j is it is unnecessary uh, it is not used in my program but it is used to delay it for some time so here j should be less than this much of time this is three six one and six times nine these are basically the milliseconds if not not a millis not even a millisecond this much of amount makes a one second so i am delaying it for this time so i am not doing anything i am just for ev for every iteration i'm starting j from zero so j is zero so it will go here if j is less than this much of amount yes j is less than j is less than three six six times nine j is less than this amount yes of course zero is less than this amount so what it does j is equal to j plus two so j becomes 
we have to increment it by 2 so it becomes 0 1 and 2 so it becomes 2 because I have incremented it by 2 then I have to move in this loop so I will reach here again I am checking if this is less than this is this 2 less than this 36999 yes so it gets uh, incremented by 2 again because here it moves to yes part and j is equal to j plus 2 it becomes 4 so again and again up to this time so this does actually nothing when I am iterating this j up to this much of amount this much of uh, number it does not no work but it makes a program busy for a uh, one second we are iterating this loop this number of time to actually make it busy for one second because we are delaying it for one second so when I am uh, iterating when I am completing every iteration one second is going to end and if one second ends and it one time will reach that it becomes three six nine 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 when it becomes this much of amount and it becomes greater than this so it will move along with the no part and second will get incremented by one so this 55 will become 56 then it moves along with this line and reaches here if second is less than 60 yes this 56 is less than 60 so i have to move to along with this yes part and print hms i have to print this i have to update this 10 59 and 55 print it like this 10 is to 59 is to this 55 will be become 56 when you are running this on your system in any program in c program you have to clear screen so that previous result will get cleared and new result will occur there it becomes 56 okay so second is still less than 60 yes this 60 is yes this 56 is less than 60 so i have to print this hm and this so 10 59 and 56 will get printed j again is initialized to zero this j this j will again become zero so i will write it again zero and and again i will iterate it 361 nine 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 times so that one second time will pass so it will get incremented by for every iteration it will get incremented by two numbers four six eight till this reaches to this number three six one nine nine okay when this reaches to this number so one second will finish then it becomes more than this number and it will move along with this no part and second will get incremented by one it will become 57 similarly we will go again and again it will become then 58 and again j will start from 0 to this number okay Th then it will become 59 and j will start from again from 0 to this number then it will become one time it will become 60 and again when i move along with this no part it will become 60 second is called second plus one it will become 60 and it will reach here then is second less than 60 no this time the condition is false so what will happen it will move along with this no part and second is equal to zero second will again become zero and minute will become minute plus one so 59 will become 60 what will happen that time we will move along with this line and will reach here then minute is minute less than 60 no this time minute is 60 it is not less than 60 so uh, so we have to continue with this no line and minute is equal to zero minute will become zero and hour is equal to hour plus one so this hour will become 11 and again i will go here hour is hour less than 24 yes this 11 is less than 24 but again i have to start from this zero minute and is this zero less than 60 yes this is less than 60 and then second similarly it will again iterate seconds will again iterate minutes will again every minute will iterate and our every hour will iterate when hour will reach to 24 when hour reaches to 24 so this no part occurs and then hour is again initialized to zero and it is again restarted from here so it will be never ending process there will be no stop in this case so this is how our digital clock is generated this is the program i have developed for this uh, digital clock this is the same flowchart converted into program this is simply if else statement and these are the these are these labels assigned to these to use this uh, go to statement okay to use go to statement go to means i have to go 
to second label so here it is second label and here it is minute label and here it is hour label and here also it is hour label so when it when it says go to minute i have to move to this minute so i have already uh, i have already developed this program and this program you can also develop from the same flowchart i am going to show you the output of this program i will run this and you to run this program if i will run this program here it prompts me to give hours minutes and seconds i will give hours in my case my hours are 10 and my minutes are 59 and my seconds are 55 when seconds will complete to 60 uh, from 55 to 60 this will become 60 when this will become 60 that means one hour 60 minutes make one hour one hour is going to complete so 10 will become 11 i will press enter hit enter and you will see this 56 57 when this this will reach 60 this will become zero because so you can see this becomes zero and this becomes 11 from 10 and again seconds are going to start when seconds will reach to 60 this will become one okay and it will move again and again and it will work like your clock Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel Indus Technologies.